All right, confession time. Most people think AI is cool for writing homework or generating art. But I decided to do something crazy. I gave $1,000 to an AI, specifically ChatGPT, and let it manage my finances for a few months. And spoiler alert, I expected to lose it all, but instead I ended up making, well, let's say more than I've started with, okay? And stick around because I promise it's a wild ride. So here's the thing, like you, I was skeptical. I thought AI for finances, that sounds risky, but hey, I figured humans aren't exactly flawless investors, right? Remember that one crypto tip that bro gave you last year? Yeah, it's still worth nothing. Anyway, I gave this AI control over $1,000. And initially, it invested safely in ETFs, nothing special. And honestly, I was starting to doubt the experiment because nothing flashy happens. Happened, sorry. English is my second language, dude, relax. And it felt like watching paint dry, boring and slow. And then I told the AI, well, aren't there ways to improve my return on invest? I want to make more money, stuff like that. And then it started giving me the real tips. So it proposed to me something pretty risky, option trading, my reaction, pure panic. It felt like I gave basically the keys of my brand new Tesla to a teenager. But surprisingly, I have to admit, the AI handled it better than expected. And here is where the things got interesting. And as you know, I use basically as an AI, I always use ChatGPT. So I gave it also my financial statements, my bank accounts, yeah, and asked them what I could improve about that. So I had a good overview of my financial situation, my income, my costs. And then it had a good grasp of what I make and what costs do I have on the other side. So it has basically a good overview over my financial situation. And you know that moment when you check your bank statements and you think you shouldn't have? Yeah, so it turns out I was paying around $600 monthly on cloud costs for an old project that was basically dead. <sighs> for nothing. And it wasn't even the worst part. And I was also paying for a few premium tools like newsletter platform or circle community, stuff like that. And I, I think together it was around 500, $500 per month. And that's what I call elite level self-sabotage, <laughs> really. So of course, I didn't let AI just look into my investments, also into my saving situation. So it loosened up my budget a bit, okay? So I just canceled all these services I didn't need anymore. And I basically, it felt, it felt so deliberating because I saved basically $500 a month. And meanwhile, the AI had gotten bolder with investments as well. So it was picking some certificates and it was also leveraging some factor certificates on ETFs, something like that. But here is the kicker. It didn't stop there because I was telling it, uh, I want to make more money and more money and stuff like that. I provoked it a bit. <laughs> so it recommended me that I should basically just create a small SaaS product as a side hustle. Something super low profile, nothing crazy. And honestly, at first I, I laughed. Yeah, I thought me running a SaaS again, I had several SaaS products that all failed in the past. Nothing really made some substantial sort of money. So with my track record of burning cash, I thought, okay, let's just try it out. And I now have ChatGPT on my hand. Previously, I didn't have. So I did it. Yeah. I built a SaaS again, very small, very simple, but of course, fully automated. And you guess it, 
by ChatGPT. And here's the hilarious twist, it actually worked. It started off very slow, but at the end of this experiment, I would say, I started making some hundred euros monthly. And because everything was automated, this was more or less completely passive and completely AI driven. So it was mind blowing to me. And honestly, at this point, I started questioning my whole life. I thought, am I the human or is the AI just smarter than me? I think, I think it is. I think it is. Yeah, definitely. So let's break it down. In total, I made or saved also. So let's break it down. In total, I ended up with $11,231 extra. So around $6,000 by saving costs of my old projects. Rest in peace to my old cloud projects. So my tiny SaaS product made me around $3,000, of course, over the last few months. And the AI managed investments, they made around $1,100. And of course, I had this initial $1,000 as an investment. So we end up at around 11,000. Anyway, you are probably wondering what made this AI so special? And which exact prompts and strategy did I use to turn this $1,000 into $11,000? That's the secret sauce, my friends. I'm giving away the exact prompts and investment strategies exclusively in my newsletter. And trust me, you will want to check these out. Look, whether you're a financial genius or still spending $600 on cloud costs, AI might be the financial body you never knew you needed. By the way, my next video will be about the topic why 99% of people actually can't write a ChatGPT prompt correctly. Subscribe if you don't want to miss it. If you enjoyed the video, please make sure to give it a like and see you in the next video or better, see you next Sunday. Happy coding and peace out.